prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. These famous words of Jesus are a caution to us. In today's gospel, we hear Mark's account of the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth, his hometown. And I think a lot of us can relate to Jesus here. Oftentimes, our message, particularly when it's the message of the gospel, seemingly goes unheard by those closest to us. And when we experience this, we can sympathize with Jesus' sentiment. But what about when we're on the other side of this equation? What about when we dismiss those we know well simply because, well, we know them? This is a common phenomenon and something very human. Mark Twain once said that an expert is an ordinary fellow from out of town. We tend to think that those we know are not going to tell us something we haven't already heard before. And there's a few errors in this sentiment. First, we presume that we know everything that those we know either know or are going to say to us. But another error is that we tend to think that true wisdom, or the wisdom we need to hear, is something we haven't already heard. We unfortunately too often tend to shortchange Jesus and his gospel in these respects. We presume we've heard it all, and we presume we've internalized it all. And both are grievous errors. Our reaction, for instance, when we hear Jesus in our passage today talk about a prophet not being without honor except in his native place, is to think, yeah, yeah, you and me, Jesus, both. But we should also be looking at ourselves and asking which prophetic voices in our lives, the voices of those people we know and are close to, which of those voices through which Christ may be speaking are we unfairly shutting out?